ceremony. And um, I would firstly like to say some words. Firstly, I'm so grateful that all of you arrived here uh, to Kia, that you guys came here to the Institute of International Relations and you're supporting the, the topic of peace, the topic of peace building, peacemaking, uh, because it's very important. It's so important, it's of high importance, I would even say, because uh, in modern worlds, we all struggling of the conflict, and the conflict prevention is our main mission. And the youth, the young people, the young leaders, the, uh, the main force, the tremendous force that is moving and supporting the peace building and peacekeeping in around the world. So um, I would like to provide uh, some words to say by our deputy director of our institute at the institute is the partner of our event. Uh, so Anton Simonovich uh, Nanavov, he is our deputy director and uh, he would say some words to him. So let's let him. Thank you, Katya. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, dear colleagues, dear students, your excellencies, uh, on behalf of uh, administration of Institute of International Relations, let me warmly congratulate you, welcome you. Uh, I am very glad to see everyone uh, present today, and I uh, wish you a very fruitful work. Uh, the things that you are going to discuss today, it's a vital important thing, I believe, for Ukraine, for uh, everyone today, because Ukraine is experiencing uh, quite a troublesome period uh, of its history. And uh, if the voice of you uh, will be heard today, and we, we will acknowledge the fact that you are eagerly participating in uh, in, in the work of the summit. You are, are going to propose your ideas, you are going to share your thoughts, you really want to change something. I believe it's the most important outcome of this, uh, of this summit, just to witness the fact that you are not indifferent. And everyone, if, if all of us, we stay together, we, uh, we, we may solve everything, I believe. And uh, providing a peace, uh, it's, really important thing for, for Ukraine and for, for all other countries of the world. So once again, uh, let me wish you a very fruitful work, uh, all the best, and once again I am very glad to see everyone today and let, let's give a round of applause to the beginning of this event, if you don't mind. inspiring speech so uh, as far as we are organizing this event not just by ourselves hello everyone we are gonna yeah introduce our partners global peace chain the NGO organization which is very helpful to, they were helping us through all this long way of preparation and unfortunately they weren't managed to get their visas that was they received the visa refusal but they are still with us they were with us they send us the videos and they want to greet you today here at the Global Peace Summit. So please welcome uh, our partners from, from Global Peace Chain. Good morning and assalamu alaikum. This is Kamran Zafar, the Executive Director of Global Peace Chain. I, on the behalf of board members, country directors, and Global Peace Ambassadors, welcome you all to the third Global Peace Summit, which is happening in the beautiful city of Kyiv. Uh, I hope this summit would be a platform of networking and learning about peace education and mainly to propose a solution of the problems which the world is facing right now. Um, I know that there are conflicts among the country and there would be conflict among the countries but on the very same time I also believe that every conflict has a solution and the best solution is dialogue obviously and uh, I also uh, Global, uh, I want to tell you that global peace uh, chain is struggling to propose a solution uh, which we used to call as peace by dialogue, uh, peace petition. We are collecting 1 million signatures in order to submit our petition by the end of 2020 in United Nations headquarters because we are living in a period of time where there is hysteria, uncertainty and instability which our generation will never accept. So Global Peace Chain is uh, also serving in more than 150 countries in which our Global Peace Ambassadors uh, are trying their best 
to regain the peace in the world by engaging different seminars, peace camps and peace activities. Global Peace Chain in vision to build resilience, cultivate the culture of tolerance, inclusivity, social, uh, social reform and interfaith harmony. At the end, I hereby invite all of you to join our movement officially and be our part by being a Global Peace Ambassador because we believe that every voice matters and we need you. And uh, I believe that together we can, yes we can. Thank you so much. incredible partner speech and we have the second one the speech from our uh, program director uh, he was also not able to ca came here to Kiev but he sent us his video the first one over there first one video yes yeah so let's greet him hello everyone good morning and ladies and gentlemen honorable guest international delegates, volunteers, and university officials, our, our partners, especially Kate and Anastasia, who really brought all possible efforts to get you here in spite of many challenges. Uh, very good morning, a very warm welcome to Global Peace Summit Ukraine. Uh, it is my honor to uh, be with you guys online. I wanted to be there, but due to, you know, due to some critical matters, with critical affairs with embassy, uh, me and Mr. Kamran, when you're unable, we couldn't be there. So, uh, but uh, we are feeling each and every moment with you guys. I'm sure you are enjoying a lot. I'm sure that Kiev is uh, very uh, amazing with you, especially it's cold and I've been notified with the temperature. So, uh, this is a unique platform, which is our third practice, that is Global Peace Summit. Uh, we have done in South Africa, um, uh, Kurdistan, Parliament, Iraq, and you know, a national level event in Mauritius, Nepal, Pakistan, and you know, and we are moving towards more. So, uh, coming to the point, which is very important, which I wanted to say in my speech, but I'm trying to deliver here online. Uh, I'm really happy to have very outstanding response from the locals, from the international delegates, for the purpose of peace building and amplifying voice for social justice. Um, I believe that we, the young people, are a real responsible people who are really a change maker who can bring real transformation in society because it's responsibility of all of individual. We believe that every voice matters and when we uh, try to amplify our voice for social justice and try to gather people for a noble cause, it creates impacts. And luckily, that is very uh, good figure to know that we are approximately the young people are more than 40% into the world. That is a very uh, brilliant figure which really can be in, fixed up in solving the matters. And you know, if we just take a turn towards the positive and transformation uh, level project and initiatives. So, uh, um, my personal belief is that, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the time has come to say that say no to, ter no to terrorism, say no to any kind of discrimination, it is religious discrimination, it is cultural, it is ethnical, say no to religious uh, discrimination, particularly when it comes to Islamism, it comes to Christianity, it comes to Hinduism. We believe that religions are peaceful and religions always spread uh, love, compassion, peace and uh, harmony and so I believe there is no any kind of religion who teaches you violent extremism, discrimination. So we, we have to believe that religions, cultures and tradition, the people are always peaceful. There are some anti-peace elements who create deterrence, who create distortion, but the time has come to say no to every anti-peace things who are trying to sabotage the reality, sabotage our peaceful world. We are promoting inclusivity and we believe in diversity and every life's matter in, in, in our perspective and this is a time to respect each other, this is a time to accept each other. The basic thing is coexistence, is it comes from the acceptance. So we are going to create more love into this world, we are going to solve issues by by pressurizing things on dialogue because dialogue is the only solution. We cannot resolve issues by uh, force or by you know any kind of military thing so better we get every stakeholder we get we get every person on table to say that 
this is the only way to sort out the things if you want to do that because enough has done uh, into kind of you know in uh, conflicts and wars and many millions of people have died and we have got nothing instead of destruction and biggest damage to our economy so time has come to raise our voice time has come to just greet each other in a very beautiful way in a very lovable way to spread more love more peace and this is a real platform we can all uh, join and to extend our thoughts and make some collaborations to do some mutual projects for uh, your community, for your regional level project and at, at your international level project if you have any. So we are always open to make collaboration with the young people and so one more thing which is very important to say here that uh, we created this platform uh, like hardly more than uh, it's like more than one year and we just believe that uh, um, while extending this project till 2025 we will having will be having many partners with us uh, thousands of young people who will be joining our initiative and we together will be making make, making peace a reality and it is really possible we just have to say no to the hated things not to the bigoted things not to all those things who are creating any kind of distortion in society so it's so much love for you all so much respect for you all and i believe that your participation will get more learning about peace education and we will be able to uh, help each other in our projects which we are doing and especially uh, it's about when it's about peace building so we are all on the same page thank you so much and uh, i hope you will enjoy the event and i hope you will enjoy every single moment so enjoy your time in uh, just with each other and uh, make sure that yes we can Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm so happy that uh, thanks to the modern technologies, we can be together even despite the border controls and whatever is going on and we're building peace together despite everything that's happening. But we also have one of the, our representatives uh, from the global peace chain, like from the, our partner organization, organization, Dr. Morfin Kamal from Pakistan, who is the youth ambassador, and he's gonna say a couple of words to you just to greet you today uh, one more time for the peace building and peacekeeping.
networking dialogues and interactive sessions. And to attract worldwide media interactions, peace building and its solutions. To select 2,000 Global Peace Ambassadors. How many of you are Global Peace Ambassadors already designated by Global Peace? Anyone? One, two, three, four. So probably all of you can be in the near future. And to promote interfaith harmony, love, compassion, coexistence among each other. To submit a resolution in United Nations headquarters. Like these are the goals that we have to set before us. And uh, uh, Martin Luther King once said that peace is something that we need not to achieve as a goal. It is something that will come up to you if you consider it peacefully. So uh, uh, these are the activities that we are doing and Global Peace Chain is interacting with a lot of people across you. I welcome you all once again on behalf of Global Peace to, and I hope these the two days will be more interactive. We make bonds, we respect diversity, we respect each other's, uh, uh, that there should be freedom of speech, thought, and we try to make linkages and learn from each other's success stories. So I welcome you all once again. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. This activity was awesome. I really <laughs> liked it. Yeah, there was like, oh, that's Moin. I'm so tired. And then this activity was the one thing that we need right now. So, and one more thing that our local students prepared for you today. This is some sort of cultural performance because we want to share not just our ideas, not just our uh, beliefs and thoughts, but we also want to share our culture and to show you that uh, in Ukraine here there are lots of talented people as well as everywhere in the world and we want just to share a couple of cultures. So, our first participant, uh, our first uh, cultural uh, delegate, I would say, uh, this is Lisa. Uh, she's the international business second year student and she's gonna perform, uh, she prepared something for you and gonna perform today.
much. This was an amazing, incredible performance. So thank you. It feels so, like she's so talented. Yeah, that's for sure. Um, the next, our huge talent, talent of our university is uh, Mr. Alexander Homenko. He's a poet and uh, he prepared something for you, very sincere, which comes from the heart and to build some peace from the heart. Hello, yeah. Well, it's hard to be better than Lisa, especially if you're doing a Russian poem in a building with people who don't speak Russian. Yeah, but um, for those who speak, or maybe know a little. There is a poet called Osip Mandelstam. Osip Mandelstam. He was killed by his own nation. He was actually thrown to exile into Siberia because he was against Stalin, because he was against his government, and he was also against wars. He was a pacifist. I don't know if there's a word in English, right? Yeah. And. The thing is, dictators die, wars end, but art, art is infinite. I mean, I still have the opportunity to speak about Osip Mandelstam, even though he was killed long ago, even though he was banned in his country. And that's why art and poetry unites us, and it's, and it's beautiful, so now I will turn to Russian for those who can understand a poem and for those who don't I will do this when a poem begins yeah <laughs> you might you know, enjoy the sound of it так вот по поводу стихотворения стихотворение называется yeah you already like it стихотворение называется загремучую доблесть до ледущих веков и там очень много красивых образов на плечи кидается век волкодав это 20 век в котором жил Мандельштам это век с революциями с Первой мировой войной, с убийствами, с гражданской войной. То бишь его век волкодав заставляет воевать, а он не хочет. Потом он просит, чтобы его отправили в Сибирь. И в конце он всем там говорит, что меня убьет только равный. То бишь это человек, который не захочет воевать. То бишь офицер, который защищает Сибирь. Oh, now, now the poem, I hope you will enjoy it. That's, trust me, it's wonderful. Yeah. За гремучую доблесть вдали идущих веков. За высокое племя людей. Я лишился и чаши на пере отцов, и веселья, и чести своей. Мне на плечи кидается век волкодав, но не волки по крови своей. Забери меня лучше, как шапку в рукав Жаркой шубы сибирских степей, Чтоб не видеть ни труса, Ни хлипкой крестцы, Ни кровавых костей в колесе, Чтоб сияли всю ночь золотые песцы Не в своей первобытной красе. Уведи меня в ночь, где течет Енисей, И со сна до звезды достает. Ведь не волки по крови своей, И меня только равную бьет. for today is prepared by one of our one of talented students of the Institute of International Relations. Dmitry has prepared some song like he would perform it by himself with the help of the, his lovely guitar. <laughs> It's not the first time I'm doing it.
Say. So, uh, playing the guitar is my hobby. I really like music, performing, and listening. I think that music decorates our life, makes it uh, richer and brighter. I think that uh, the introduction of people to music makes them peaceful, uh, kinder, and contributes to peace. So, uh, the uh, people who really love music uh, will never be aggressive or something like this and uh, will never fight. Therefore, I think that music is the path to peace. Music is life. Thank you very much. This was amazing. I really loved it and I hope you enjoyed it. Even if this was in like musicish language, not in the like, English one. So guys, uh, now we're gonna have like 20 minutes coffee break. Just to have some coffee, some, I don't know, small things to eat. And then we're gonna come back at 11 a.m. here back to our venue to have the diplomats panel talk.